Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Melissa, aka Mel Soldera here on YouTube. I am a Montreal-based mama, YouTuber, social media content creator. I basically love everything in fashion and I love to show you guys all of my finds, my tips and tricks, and if you're into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any of the fun that we're posting on here on this channel. Today's video is going to be an old school YouTube style haul. I did some fall shopping and I wanted to take you guys along. This video is also partially sponsored by Farfetch. So you know what that means. It means I have a new Farfetch promo code. I will put it here. I will include all the T's and C's down below. Before we start this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate you guys helping me out grow my channel. Okay guys, we're gonna start with what I got from Farfetch. Farfetch, as you guys know, is my go-to luxury shopping spot. Whether it is sponsored or not, I have been a Farfetch ride or die since way before they knew who I was. So Farfetch, as you guys know, they are kind of like a luxury hub of all over the world. They have items that are from every single luxury boutique all over the place and they have it there for you. So chances are when you're looking for an item like uh -uh, this one that I couldn't find in my size, Farfetch will usually have it just because they pull inventory from everyone. So your odds of finding it are a lot higher like 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 this piece right here that I'm going to show you guys. They just have an amazing curated section of luxury items and duties are included for all you Canadians who always ask me. The price you see is what you pay. There is no additional, no surprises and you usually get the items within like two days. Okay, so the first item that I was showing you guys is this jacket right here. It's by Frankie Shop, they are known for their padded t-shirts, padded dresses, while they are also known for their blazers apparently because getting this blazer in an extra small has been quite challenging might I add into this conversation. This color and this size has been close to impossible to find. I feel very lucky that I did find it. I picked it up, like I said, in a size extra small and it's this like olivey green, taupey beige color almost. And I just feel it's a really good color on my skin tone. It's a little bit longer of a jacket. It's a one button, has that riding jacket vibe, which is my favorite shape on blazers and I just love it. There are also trousers that come with this jacket that I really, really, really almost picked up and now I'm very much annoyed that I did not go with the whole suit with this vibe because I was like this for fall. Trousers also for fall. If you don't have a pair of pleated, high-waisted, wide leg trousers, you need to get it. You need to get onto that look. It is everything. Even if they're a little bit longer and you get that graze the floor ultra slouch, it's such a look for fall. It's such a flattering shape also for so many different shapes and sizes and heights. I am all for this look and this jacket just completed everything on it. All right, next off from Farfetch, I picked up these sneakers. I needed a pair of new sneakers. You guys know I overkilled my Kana ones this summer. I wore them everywhere and I was like, I just need a nice pair of new white sneakers. I picked up these Axel Arigato white sneakers. I thought they were literally the coolest white basic sneakers you could ever just like style. I feel like these are gonna be so good with all the trousers that I've picked up. Let me just show you one close up. So it just says Arigato on the side and a nice like embossed matte gold laced up to the top. Very, very casual but so dressed up at the same time just because they are so seamless and they are so just like a basic white sneaker that you can wear with literally anything. Since I've been wearing more and more flats, I feel like the pandemic has brought me into flat mode and I've just come to appreciate the fact that I'm five foot two and I'm living for my short self. Um, these are going to be such a good basic. They're going to dress up well. They're going to dress down. I can see these with dresses. Actually, I picked up a dress that I think would look really beautiful with said sneakers. They'll look really good with trousers. They're just a really good pair of basic white sneakers. I mean, for fall, I pretty much just live in combat boots and white sneakers so this was just a good addition into my wardrobe and I cannot wait to take off this like do not cut tag and just like wear them because these are so good anybody else's allergies like through the roof by the way I have been dying with fall allergies this year I have been I wake up every morning with like the puffiest face here I've been doing like the 
ice, like when you wake up, like the ice all over the face. I've been taking Claritin and I'm still sneezing constantly all day. Leave me a comment down below if it's something you're struggling with too because I feel like this year is wild with allergies. Next item is a handbag. It is a handbag that was on my wish list. If you have not seen my 2021, 2022 wish list, I will link it down below. I included this bag on my wish list in a smaller size and then I saw it in real life and I was like, nah, man, nah, this is a medium bag. This is calling back 2005. This is bringing me all that vibe that I'm going back to my early 2000s Melissa self. This bag is where it's at. I already showed it on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because you already know about this bag. I will put my handle here, but if you are strictly YouTube, ow, I just whipped myself in the face with the bag. <laughs> Hold on. Look at this bag. Hold on, let's get close up for you guys. This is the Balenciaga Medium La Cagole bag. A lot of you had asked me about this bag and when I mentioned I liked the small version of it, a lot of you were like, can you check out the medium and let me know what you think about the medium when you go get the small? And shocker, I ended up falling for the medium. I know very much against what I usually go for, but this bag to me is everything. So I'm on the shortest strap right now. This bag can definitely be a crossbody. Um, both straps are quite long, so it can be crossbodied short, long, shoulder, you name it. It is so versatile. It has those like oversized studs or like rivets, I guess, that the old school Balenciaga City had, like when they came out with the giant hardware bags that I loved and never ended up getting. I feel like I'm getting so much Balenciaga dreams and wish list items out of the way with this bag. I know there's a lot of information going on, but I just feel like this is such a fun bag. If you are my age and you did witness that like early Paris Hilton 2000 era, I feel like this is so what it is. Like I feel like I'm looking at this mirror with the heart. This is like throwing me major juicy couture vibes from when I used to work at Holt Renfrew. I used to work at Holt Renfrew as the denim specialist in the, uh, the denim department, the contemporary department. And I, I used to be the queen of like juicy track suits, juicy bags with the hearts and all that stuff. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, this reminds me of like my back at Holt Renfrew days. So it has the mirror in the shape of a heart. It also has this little coin pouch that is attached to the side. So you have like a bunch of little SLGs that are just also attached to the bag. I love that they're attached as charms to the side of the bag, but these are all completely removable if it's too much and like too chotched up for you. But you guys know me, there is never anything too chotched up in my life. I love a good chotched moment and this just like adds to the mix. So you have the heart mirror, you have the change pouch, which is actually quite practical. It's a very practical bag. It does have a back zip pocket, voila, that you can put your cell phone in. It's somebody messaged me like what fits in this bag and I'm like literally my response was what doesn't fit in this bag. There's also another small pocket here at the front where you can put like your AirPods, change pouches, like this bag is incredibly practical. And then when you open it up, there's just a back zip pocket that fits a ton of stuff and then a giant hole that literally fits everything. And then you have this little piece here that just flaps over. This is screaming to me early 2000 hobo bags, that old school Gucci, old school Balenciaga, throwing in some juicy couture, like it is, it's, it's an era and I feel like this is definitely not a bag that everybody will um, be drawn to, but I think it definitely does, it, it definitely is a certain character and a certain um, era for someone. So if you're around my age, this is probably right up your alley. I just thought it was such a fun bag. And I'm really, oh, feet underneath also. I'm really happy that I ended up going with the medium as opposed to the mini. The mini is really cute, but I definitely feel like this is a medium bag. While we're on the bag front, let me just get into another bag that I picked up. I picked this up at the Prada Boutique at Holt Renfrew, and they had the color that I've been wanting. It had been out of stock 
forever. I had seen it in blue, I'd seen it in um, black, white with the black polka dots. I'd seen it so many different ways, but I really enjoyed having my terry cloth version of this bag this summer. And I really missed out on getting it. I, I guess going terry cloth, I really missed out on having just the classic nylon version of this bag and I really love it in the classic nylon and I was like I love this in the light pink I find it so beautiful and I've been wearing a lot of browns lately and like army greens and I, and I feel like this is such a beautiful color combined to all these like fall warm colors that I've been wearing so Diana called me and she said Diana my essay at Prada Holtz Montreal called me and she's like Mal the pink just rolled in and I was like Diana you have my credit card number and she charged it and it delivered and I did an unboxing on Instagram and if you missed it it's because you don't watch me on Instagram but yeah this bag was a great find great item I think it's super duper cool I love the tag on here with the re-edition 2000 by the way this is the re-edition 2000 the full nylon not the um not the leather strap version like the 2005 it doesn't have the cross back. like it's just the classic old school Prada that I love, that I never should have sold by the way, because I got this bag, I bought the vintage version of this bag three years ago for like $100 in burgundy, and it was so beautiful. I don't know why I sold it. It was a really big mistake. I thought it was over. I thought that because I jumped on the bandwagon before the bag was reissued, that like when the bag was reissued, I was like, ugh, it's done. Now it's reissued, it's not cool anymore. And I'm like, meh. It's a really good bag. I really missed having this one in my wardrobe. So Prada 2000 re-edition in the light pink. Such a great little add-on. And I love that I went pastel for fall as opposed to traditional black or like camel color. Although camel would have been nice too because I do quite love my croissant Prada in the camel. I, if you watched last week's vlog or earlier this week's vlog, yeah, Monday's vlog. If you watched Monday's vlog, uh, you know that I went to work at Retaish. Retaish, I work with them not only on a like social media platform, like Frontline, where I show you guys some of their stuff, but I also work with them back end. So I'm privy when I'm in the back store sometimes, seeing items that come in and knowing interesting things that are going to come in before they get in. And I knew there was going to be some fun clothes hitting up the website. So I have been stalking. I I'd been refreshing, I'd been all over it. I'm a big fan of the way Retaish prices pre-loved clothes because I've gotten some pretty incredible items that I never would have been able to afford or I would never agree to spend that kind of money um, had I bought it new. Like remember that Miu Miu skirt? Yeah, that was from Retaish. So I picked up this dress. It is a Prada dress. I think a regular price of dress like this is $4,000. It was $199. It's a size 38 though, and it's too small. I'm currently way back on track with Weight Watchers. I'm already down three points, what, what? I need to go down like another five, six pounds because like there's that much at like the back that's not zipping, but I will include a picture of what it looks like on the model on the website. She rocked it, she looked beautiful, but I do wanna show you guys close up what it looks like. So it is a crepe wool square neckline which is so beautiful this neckline really suits me and then see the bodice i hope that the camera is catching it it's like a boned bodice so it really like tucks in your waist and it is like right below the knee on me and it's just like a seamless black zipper at the back it's just like a beautiful black cocktail dress but i also see this like worn back to like combat boots i see how fun this dress could be like Thinking combat boots, cool oversized like army green blazer, this has major potential vibes. So yeah, $199 for a Prada dress. Yes, please. Next item I picked up from Retaish is this cropped black blazer. I've been telling you guys you need a crop jacket in your life for the fall season and I found this one by Maj. It's perfect, it's nice and kind of like oversized and flowy, it looks really good. Um, this was $115 regular price, $695. It is like a ribbed wool almost. I don't think it's getting picked up on camera. It has a flap and it has these really cool like button detail on the side which makes them look more like army-ish which looks really cool. I like that it's nice and loose and boxy as opposed to fitted like a lot of my blazers are. This is a great add-on for fall 2021. I can't believe it's almost 2022 by the way guys. Last dress that I picked up is by Bita. Bita is the company that does my favorite jeans. 
um, well not my favorite jeans, but a pair of jeans that I really like. Um, they are, I don't even know where they're from because I feel like I was drop shipped, but they have really great pieces. So aside from these jeans that I absolutely love, I saw this dress, I needed just like a bodycon midi dress with the ruching on the side. Like you can get these anywhere, but I love the quality of Beta. I love that there's kind of this like neckline here, almost that sporty neckline and the ribbed dress. It fits really well. I wore this to an event that I had with Margiela and it turned out so beautiful for the night out. So I'm seeing this dress with the white sneakers. That's a dress that I was telling you guys what I thought would look so cute with those white sneakers. I just, I love it. I find it such a cute little look. It's a great piece and Dresses like that for fall, throw on an oversized sweater, you put a pair of combat boots, like it's such a versatile black piece. It sounds so silly. They are so practical. Cute, good quality, soft jersey dresses. So all that to say, that dress is amazing. I will make sure to link everything that I mentioned in this video down below. Again, Farfetch promo code will be listed down below, so make sure to go check it out. I definitely don't have anything else to say aside. I need to go get some Claritin right now. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. I love you.